Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. Yes, my hand is completely healed. I am so happy. Okay, let's have a look at the palette and we're going to have a bit of fun today. don't know what this is going to work out like. <laughs> so grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So as you can see, my palette's complete and not a mess. I've been given a bit of a challenge today to paint on um, a, a piece of cardboard that is unprimed completely. You know, I've never done this before in my life. I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but I thought I'd do something different. Anyway, I'm, I've got the, the, the paint. I don't think there's going to be much green, but I've got some raw sienna. I'm definitely going to use some... Um, um, burnt umber, I've got some Prussian blue there, I've got some cobalt blue, I've got a bit of black and white. Um, I'm going to have to use the white that I've got. I'm just going to use the colours, I'm not adding to my palette at all, I'm just going to use the colours that I've got. So it's, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. And, um, well, I'm going to use just two brushes. I'm going to use a short flats, uh, two of them, that's it, that's all I'm going to use. I'm going to limit myself, I'm going to good challenge today. <laughs> Now, I've never painted this. As you can see, this is a piece of cardboard. Um, this is pre-cut to 16 by 12. Um, and I've never done this before. I've always put gesso on there or some sort of primer um, on. What the word they're gonna? I don't know what to, what you call this type of painting. You know, it's, a, it's a Clive painting. You know, it's a Clive style painting. Let's just do it like this. I think. It'll work. It'll work. It'll come. It'll come together slowly. I'm sure it will. I need a lot more water than you think. You need a lot more water than you think with this method because the, the, the cardboard is absorbing the paint. It really is. Now this cobalt blue and white. And let's put a line there. Put a line there like that. I like that line. I might have to add a little bit more white paint to my... I'm not adding any colours, but I might actually add a little bit more white paint to my palette after. So that's not an exact cheat. Let's get a little bit of this Prussian blue. Because I've got a mind to put a, a line there. Like that. I haven't got a lot to say today because I'm thinking about what I'm doing. <laughs> normally I waffle a lot. I normally waffle a lot. A bit of landmass there. Bump, 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 bit of raw sienna. I'm going to try not to overbrush. I'm just going to block it in like that. Don't think about it. And just, just go with it. Just go with the flow. Just go with the, <laughs> just go with the flow. 
I'll just let the brush make its mark like that and leave it. Don't touch it. Must not touch. Okay, so let's get a little bit of what's the raw sienna and a little bit of yellow. What's that gonna give me? Let's get a bit wet over there. That's gone a bit wet. It's picked up some wet off my some moisture off my palette. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's a nice colour. That's quite a nice colour. Put a bit of that in there, like that. Actually, let's bring a bit of that colour. What did I say? Don't touch. Leave it once it's done. You made your mark. Leave it. <laughs> I'm talking to myself now. There you go. Get a bit of black. There, like that, a bit of black. What style of painting would you say this is? You let me know in the comments below. Please don't say mess. <laughs> Clive, you're painting a mess again. But I like a challenge. I do like a challenge, actually. How's that looking? It's looking pretty good. It's it's got a little bit of um, it's got a little bit of uh, distance to it. I should have been done a bit more blue in the sky, actually, shouldn't I? Uh, and I did say I wasn't going to use another brush, so let's just try and get this in with this brush. Do 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 do. do. So always give more sky than you think you need. That's the model of this story. Actually, I quite like the way this is going into the paper. You know, it's 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 it is really. It's like a watercolor. It really is. If um, if if you want to try watercolors and you don't you don't know how to use watercolors and use acrylics. They won't reactivate like watercolors. Water, uh, watercolors tend to to reactivate, whereas acrylics won't. When well, once once they're set, they're set. But it is a way of playing with. I just put some clouds in the sky like that. Don't have to be hundred percent perfect, do they? There we are. Put some clouds in the sky like. That. I do. Um, give my brush a quick brushy rushy like that in the water. Um, oop. Come here, you. I've been having trouble with my sound recorder. Oops. I've been moving my studio about a bit. And for some reason, it keeps switching itself on and off. But so far, so good. So far, so good. So let's get some Prussian blue. Because we need contrast in this water now. And it is water. It's going to be a beach scene or a, or, or a seascape. I quite like seascapes. As you know, if you've painted with me before, you know I like my seascapes. There we go. So let's get some of this nice cobalt blue, a bit of white. Like that. Just brush strokes, just let the brush strokes happen. A bit more white down there. Let's let the brush strokes happen. Where's our Prussian blue? Let's get some Prussian blue in the background there. A 
just like that. I'm trying to be loose. Try to be loose. Try to be loose with this. Try to be loose because that's what this project's about. This is about being loose with your painting and not worrying too much about detail. Just basically blocking in where you can some colour like that. And just letting the shapes appear and then we can play around with a little bit of white at a later stage then just to help us get what we need out of this painting. more blue there oh it's green no <laughs> all right okay so we touch a bit of green we'll mix a bit of that in with a bit of blue we'll get this green now get this green in the water i didn't want to put green in you no but we'll mix it in we'll mix it in like this now i'm gonna have to just do a little bit of mishy mishy washy like this it's not what i wanted to do but it's okay it might work out for the best now actually might work out let's just bring a bit of green let's just get some of this green off there now and just bring it in a few touches here and there like that so we can incorporate that there i want a nice bit of dark there like that maybe there we go Let's get um, let's get some of this white. There, like that. We get a little bit of this raw sienna. A little bit of yellow. Just down this edge. I know I wasn't going to use yellow, but when you use green, well, why not? We just have to use the colours that we've got now. So that's could, that could be a little bit of sand. That could be a little bit of sand there, as you can see. It's definitely going to be a seascape. So let's get a little bit of. Black, not black, sorry. Um, Prussian blue. Just there. You need a bit more water than you think. I love challenges. Let's get some white. Do 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 Try and be loose. 
let just let the brush do what it needs to do. What do you think? We we go now. We we missing something though. We are missing. what we could do we could get a bit of black and a bit of burned ember and we could put a get a stone a nice big rock sticking out there you go nice big rock like that let's get some light like that Just sticking out to the background. I like all that. Get some water. Just around the base. I'm trying to scrape up my paint now. Try not to get too detailed. <laughs> there we go. Yes. You have fun. Very fun, quick painting. Give it a shot. See what you can come up with in a short space of time with the limited colours and limited amount of brushes. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. Don't forget to like, smash that like button and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.